Welcome to the DMTF Redfish Explorer, the tool to increase awareness of redfish, DMTF redfish, and help to define future managed hardware platforms. I wanted to start with an introduction of how do we see the tool sees the DMTF redfish is a repository of schemas, which is a largest collection of information so far uh, collected by any standard. And these represents thousands of schemas and close to many areas, like close to 50,000 areas, which more than 5,000 states and options. And the schemas are currently used for verification, for JSON responses verification, as well as providing um, some of the mockups for providing it to a customer to ensure that the JSON responses match. DMTF Redfish schemas could be utilized is what our vision is to inform customers about these schemas on the wealth of information it has and to build customer requirements based on the schemas alone because it has got a lot of data to sort of sort of salvage and automate the generation of HTTP verb JSON responses and handlers based on the customer requirements because the areas where the human it is very human error prone at this moment making it something which you can allow the schemas to drive your requirements, your schemas to help you to build your responses in a file format. And possibly you could integrate this to some of the uh, firmware models like OpenBMC. The DMTF Explorer tool, which we have built now, allows the customer to create, first be aware. That's the first stage. Awareness is what we are trying to do in terms of the wealth of information which is there in schema. Currently, schemas are more or less looks at the means to an end model. So the people, we were looking at the customers to be more informed because the more informed customers makes informed decisions about what are the requirements they have, reducing a lot of ambiguity in building their own solutions. Now for the a quick introduction about the tool. The DMTF Redfish Explorer tool is a Java tool. It's based on JavaFX, it's a GUI. And the Explorer has three components in it. The Explorer component is what we are currently putting it in GitHub. It's available, you can see, uh, we will share you the link shortly. And there is a builder version, which is, uh, we are. it is still in early development and it is currently available for customers who are very interested to understand and see how we progress with it. And the builder is a little bit the step the next step is, uh, first one is explore is more awareness and information. Builder actually allows the customer to make choices based on the schemas and build their derived bundles and also help the platform builders to also allow them to build their bundles based on their own firmware implementation. And because there is two uh, bundles which is available, the builder allows you to compare these two to understand and negotiate and reconcile the differences in terms of the customer requirement to the platform uh, uh, platform from their implementation. And the, the next stage is an integrator, and that is also unworks based on the builder and explorer. It uses the derived schemas and automatically builds HTTP JSON responses files as JSON files, and change the values, um, and and keeping the rest of the uh, areas in, intact, the read-only sections intact, or the customer requirement section intact, and also have handlers. When I use the word handler in BMC web, uh, we use the handlers as C++ uh, generated. This is automatically generated C++ code. The open BMC web uh, hard codes uh, most of this data, made more modular, so that most of the effort from the BMC web will be more spent on um, adding value to the handlers, uh, which is uh, automatically generated. And now we would like to take you through the demo. And the demo is uh, close to around 14 minutes uh, video. I hope you will find the demo interesting and uh, useful. Hello, welcome to the DMTF Redfish Explorer demo. During the course of demo, if you have any questions, concerns or any suggestions, please email us at have you thought about it at gmail.com. Let's go to the demo. 
this tool is uh, in GitHub and you can download it. You can download the zip file and uh, this is publicly available and it will be version controlled. And uh, at this moment, uh, we don't, this is more in binary format and I'm, we are working to actually put the source code, open source the source code soon. Once you download the zip file and you can unzip it and you will be actually seeing this and we are expecting you to have a Java backend so that it can be opened. So this is the tool. Please take a moment to read the revision history and the purpose and the tool features. This would be uh, useful if you would like to understand some of the nuances of what is being provided in this version of the tool. And also the tool actually provides a cross-reference to the DMTF uh, Redfish website. Just to make sure that this particular tool is a complement or an addition to the Redfish Developers Hub. And it is at no way it is expecting to act as the Redfish Developer Hub. You can use this page for going and looking at the mockups and looking at most of the developer essentials. These will be essential if you are trying to get into an understanding because the intent of this tool is not to redefine Redfish, but rather to utilize what already is there in DMTF Redfish, which is developed by the SPMF stream of DMTF. Regarding the tool, the tool currently is enabled for Explorer, that is for informational purpose, to bring out the different elements of the Redfish from our point of view, also to get feedback from the community and from the industry whether are we looking at all those right variables as we are looking and then basically using that, we will be completing the builder and integrator, but we will be continuing to complete and work and build, create a builder and integrator version soon and we will be releasing it. Wanted to let you know that it is very flexible because the explorer is very important and the key element of how the builder and integrator are going to move on. So please use this web page just to cross-reference Redfish and let's go inside. It allows you to download schemas from DMTF and download schemas from your disk because Redfish provides you bundles and also Redfish able to host the schemas in the DMTF site under the, under the space of this one. If you click on this web page, you will be able to sort of get the most latest and updated service route.json from where you can actually make a trace. Let's start downloading the schema from DMTF directly. And as you see that the schema is getting uploaded to the system and it is working through the URLs provided in the schema files and going and trying to fetch one based on and creating a tree-like structure. So you can see the schema count sort of increasing. And today there is close to 3,000 schema files of different versions available. And this, actually, this goes and pretty much takes fetches all the schemas which are relevant or which are connected to the schema files only. If there is any requirement of having any schema files which are not available as part of the traceability in the schemas, please let us know. We will try to understand and adjust the requirements to that. So now that there are 990 schema files were uploaded and its uploading is complete, that means all the uh, dependencies are resolved. Now that we got the file downloaded, let's go and parse it. So this is what we have downloaded from DMTF. And uh, you can see that it is online. We got it from directly from the web. And the version is 2.22.1. 20, Maybe interesting that the DMTF is working on 2022.3, but still we get it one is because the schema files don't have the bundles uh, version, doesn't somewhere get reflected on one schema file, like service root, it doesn't get updated 
So the tool actually uses one of the latest versions of service root JSON and tries to use the release tag as a way of showing the bundle version. So we are going to actually ask uh, DMTF to see whether they can update it. This is online and the total number of schemas passed is 990 and the definitions or the individual uh, schemas or individual areas and the individual requirements is 54,000 and an odd and uh, the properties or the fields, right? The actual fields of the requirement is around 33,000 and the number of states or enumerations or different states or options, right? For different states is close to around 4,000. But all these numbers is a cumulative number of all those schema versions. So once you actually make a selection of an individual schema, these numbers may actually get become manageable. Now let's start with the exploration of the schema bundles. So one of the most important areas of the schema is the URIs. These URIs face the customer. In fact, these are the areas, URLs, you will be using basically collects all the URLs scattered in all the schemas and synthesizes and actually brings the data together and it shows how all of them come together even though they are maybe scattered. So please take a moment and this will help you to sort of put things together and also there is an interested, this particular interested column is not active yet. And this is expected to be active when you are in a builder format. And in the builder version, when you choose this, this will become a requirement for your customers, for your vendors, to let them know that these are all the interested URIs you are most interested in apart from Maybe they will offer more, but at least the minimum, this needs to be offered. The next part is the comparison. This comparison map is each and every schema area has got many versions. And there is a version evolution. And in this one, let us say account services, the version evolution can be seen here. This will sort of show that how the whole over the multiple versions, how the variables evolved or how the properties evolved, the definitions evolved. And this is essentially one thing we wanted to point out is all the thing, all the schema files, which is not referenced by somewhere in the food chain of the service root.json uh, will not be referenced or it's no, it is sort of deprecated. So, Please take a few moments and go through some of your um, some of your schemas areas and try to check out how they evolved over a period of time because it is pretty lengthy. Because, for example, this computer system, which is considered as one of the most robust required space I have seen, uh, this is uh, very interesting to go and watch and understand how they have evolved over time. The next area is the version map. Now that we have compared each of the versions on its progression, it is important to make sure that you, we can deep dive on each of the versions of the schema. So if we go through this, it will list you all the definitions of each of the schemas and it will tell you how much of each of them or is this a regular or it is a root. And also you will be able to go through each of the properties, understand the descriptions to a certain extent. And there is a customer required field and uh, this is something um, it will be uh, more implied on a builder model, builder version. Currently DMTF expects only these two fields to be required in the schema. But the customers may require more of these fields for their own consumption on when they are when they are looking at the JSON output. And this is something we would in the builder model, you can check this and we will be including that as part of the required, which will help the validator to make sure that these fields are, are also validated for your pass file count. 
and also there is an enums which is already captured as you know it also has the different areas of the enums and the expectation is in the builder there is a checkbox here if you make a selection of this any of these checkboxes in the builder model the rest of because of there is a very complex dependencies between schemas automatically you will uh, you will see your your selection has an impact so those the builder will tell summarize the impact statements and what are the different schema choices you are trying to sort of narrow down yourselves to and that will able to help you to build a derived schema where you are going to only choose one version of each schema uh, category and build your own sort of schema derived bundle and finally this is your state redfish have created a huge state space uh, which was done in pldm in different way in ipmi of putting all these things together and uh, we thought that this will be beneficial for some of the system designers and also useful for them to understand the different uh, different states the indicator the lit blinking what are the different states and what are the different power on states this states and options is very important and key for you to understand uh, what are the different uh, schema based values enumerated enumerated values they can take and this would also help you to understand the things which are not available that's something which you need to comprehend in your design and that will also help you to understand how what are the different malleabilities of redfish you would like and you could also approach dmtf for some of these things to be added if it is of concern to you so now that we have seen how the online version of dmtf works i'm going to take you over to a quick demo of how to actually take a schema from the disk and uh, uh, taken some of the schemas from the space and currently as you see it is 990 for 2022.2 plus right so you need to select the downloaded folder you unzip the bundle and you just point that and it will start populating the uh schema account go through the same trace by the way so it's not going to look at all the schema files but it is going to do the same scheme uh, trace route interestingly enough we found only 905 956 when it was previously 990 so at the same time when you can go and load um say uh, yeah even older version which is one year old you will you'll be surprising to find out that the rate in which the schemas were added it's interesting so it is 921 it's 921 and it is 956 in uh, 222.1 and possibly it's 990 in uh, 0.2 so you can see the the rapid growth in which the schemas are evolving and this completes the demo and if you have any questions concerns or suggestions please let us know and send your comments and your thoughts uh, to have you thought about it at gmail.com thank you and i hope you enjoy the demo